enough of waste, but it's finally time to review Warzone. So let's get it over and fucking done with. Okay, so let's go. Warzone time. I've been told you guys before that I hate Warzone, and to be honest, I'm gonna have to follow it up right with this review. Because it's a slow piece of sh uh, rubbish. <sighs> so yeah, let's go. Made by Acclaim Sports. Not THQ as we know. And this little, uh, very overdone advertisement. Oh, I've skipped the intro. Well, that was good. Whatever. Uh, it's just an intro showing you all the people in the game. It's pretty good. Right, so then you go into this warehouse. Some nice 3D rendered stuff. It's, it's pretty good. Yeah. Come on. And then you go into an elevator. Then you go up the elevator. And then there's a loading screen. Now I'm finally on the game. No memory card found. Whatever. Um, so in the start game, training, create player, options, high scores, biography. So let's go on to... Okay, let's have a match. So you go out the lift. Uh, versus. Right. Okay, then you pick the person. So there's Austin, Bulldog, Farouk, Goldust, Triple H, Mankind, Iraq. Ahmed, no, no, Ahmed Johnson, sorry, Bret Hart, Owen Hart, rest in peace, Undertaker, Shamrock, Kane, Thrasher, Marsh, and your custom superstar, and back to Sean. Okay, so I'm going to go with, uh, what, Austin. But you can't pick your opponent, it's randomly picked, so i got to face Marsh. Uh, the man who thinks it's cool to wear skirts. <sighs> Another loading screen. I mean, that was quick. Right, so uh, yeah, then you get this little like sort of real time um, opening with the proper images. Another loading screen. Yep. Come on. I'd like to show the people. And then you get this. No entrances. And uh, there's just commentary at the beginning. It's kind of weird, really. Let me just adjust the camera. So, yeah. Then you got those two bars at the top, if you can see them. Uh, they're basically your health. you got to wear that down. Okay, I get that. Right, so let's go. You lock up. And then I've just thrown Marsh. I don't even know how I did that and played this game for so long. So let me show you something. The move list. There's a move list for your different situations. Let me just uh, show you that closer. The vertical suplex, you might not be able to see that very well in the video. Inside forearm, kick, punch, and quick kick. You understand my point. But that's how it works. So, yeah. Sorry about the shitty camera effects that I'm using. I'm really bad. Right, okay, sorry, dude. Bollocks. Oh, sorry, excuse me. Right, so then you move. X blocks. Okay. I press square and that happened. And now I'm pressing square to kick him. Circle locks up. Then you go back to the move list to look at the moves you can do. Okay, so suplex. Uh, right up square. Well, I pay attention to the yellow list, but that was a right up square. And then he does a suplex. It's... Uh, the moves look pretty good. I'll admit, for a sl game is slow, the moves don't look that bad. But to be honest, it's too slow. What the hell? Reversed? Oh, that's great. Okay, kick him. Kick him. I must admit, though, the matches seem to go on forever. What? How do you reverse? And then these chants in the background, like... I don't know what they're saying. Something about skirts? I don't know. And then you get stunned eventually. Now he's locking in a headlock. Come on. Gotta get out of this. Damn it. Okay, kick him. Kick him. Damn. Suplex? Right, good. As you can see, the gameplay is incredibly slow. This game takes... Some of the matches take forever to complete. What the hell? 
what, what's going on? Okay, whatever. So you get my point, and that's basically the matches. They're pretty poor, and to be honest, I've never liked the concept of uh, Warzone, and for some reason I don't know how I ever managed to complete that story mode that I'm going to show you in a minute. But let's move on, shall we? Okay, so back at the uh, main menu. I remember that. Then there's trading. That's basically just going against your opponent. Uh, you know, when they don't really move. Create a player. Not going to get into that. Options. You know what options are, but let's have a look at them for the sake of it. Okay. Settings, controller configuration. Same game, delete game. Brilliant. All that just to go down the options screen. Oh, well, that's good. Uh, high scores. High scores. How can you get a high score on a wrestling game? Let's have a look. Oh, I see. It just because when you win with certain people. It's not really a high score. It should be called records, at least. Then there's biographies. This just shows you different facts about the superstar. It even plays the music in the background, if you listen carefully. Hang on, I'll just turn that up for you. But wrong way. Mankind. And my Johnson. It tells you whether their face or heel, uh, what their finisher is, where they're from, what their weight is, their height, and their name. That's it. And obviously their uh, attributes at the top, but I don't think that makes much difference. Okay, we don't want to listen to the Nation of Domination. Gold Dust. Looks awful. Triple H. The Undertaker. Ooh. Gangster. Gangster? What the... Um... Shamrock. You get my point. And, uh... Yeah, it's okay, but it's a bit pointless. I think it's just to add something to the game. Well, might as well check out the creative player. It's not a very good creative superstar, but what do you expect? It's nothing compared to No Mercy. Not by a long shot. I still people see people doing superstars. So then, you change the name. Whatever. Uh, what the hell? Okay, so I... What? Whatever. Then you pick attributes, strength. What? Then moves. Cheese Meister? What the hell? You can only pick a moveset from a superstar in the game. Well, apart from these weird ones at the top. Cheese Meister, Pit Scorpion, Colossal, and Twist. I have no idea what that is. Personality, fa face or heel, theme music. Yeah, whatever, we know what theme music is. Memory card, and clear. So yeah, that's the crazy superstar. It's not the best, by a long shot. So, yeah, that's WDF Warzone. I managed to go through it, but, uh, I would never recommend it. Even though it's still old now, if anyone was thinking about buying a retro wrestling game, don't buy this. Buy the SmackDown series, because this is a pile of shit!